Leonardo da Vinci was a brilliant artist, scientist, and inventor who lived from 1452 to 1519. He was from a town in Italy called Vinci, so his name, Leonardo da Vinci, means Leonardo of Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was the epitome of a Renaissance man because his genius crossed so many disciplines. He was a lifelong student. He studied human anatomy, physics, chemistry, plants, and animals. Over the course of his life, he filled more than 7,000 pages with sketches and writing. He would write his notes backwards so they could only be read through a mirror. Da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, which is arguably the most famous painting in the world. While painting the Mona Lisa, da Vinci reportedly ordered music to be played at every sitting so she would continue to smile. He also painted the Last Supper and a number of religious paintings. Da Vinci is credited with lots of inventions, including tanks, war machines, parachutes, life preservers, the very first bicycle, a diving suit, and more. He was a vegetarian who loved animals. It's said that he would go to the market and buy birds in cages just so he could set them free. He was fascinated with birds in flight and worked to invent a flying machine so people could fly too. Leonardo da Vinci said, learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Let's free birds from cages just like Leonardo da Vinci. Grab your art supplies, something to draw with, and something to add color. Let's start drawing the cage with a long curved line towards the left side of your paper. Make sure you're leaving space to draw a bird. Use a slightly curved line to draw the bottom of the cage. Add a triangular shape on top. Along with two circles. And two straight lines. The cage door is open, so draw a slightly diagonal line going up then a slightly diagonal line going down. Connect those two lines and mirror that same shape going in the opposite direction. Now let's draw a horizontal line in the middle of our cage jumping over the opening. Draw a slightly curved line towards the top of the cage. Add another slightly curved line between the middle and the top. On the bottom half of the cage, make your lines curve in the opposite direction. Draw a vertical line that curves slightly from the top of the cage down to the bottom. Continue drawing these slightly curved vertical lines, all starting from that same center point. Make sure you jump over the opening of the cage. Don't draw your line through it. Add vertical lines on the cage door.
Now let's draw our bird, starting with one of its wings. Draw a curved line where the top part is longer than the bottom part. Add a bumpy line to connect those two ends. At the top of that wing, draw a curved line for the bird's head. Add a straight line from the bottom of the wing. Connect the ends of those two lines with a curve. Add a dot for an eye and a triangle for the beak. Draw the bird's tail feathers with a straight line, a diagonal line, and a bumpy line. Now draw the other wing with a straight line moving up away from the bird. And add one more bumpy line. When you're ready, you can color your picture.